A local network gateway represents the VPN device on your local network and is used when creating a site-to-site -site VPN between an Azure virtual network and your on-premises network. I'm Mike Roderick, and in this quick bite, I'm gonna show you how to create a local network gateway. To create a local network gateway, we're gonna start by logging in to portal.azure.com. Once I get into my portal, I'm gonna search for local network gateway. It should show up in the top of my list there. I'll select that. It's gonna bring me to a blade to show me if I have any currently, which I don't. And I can either click create local network gateway down here at the bottom, or I can click add up here at the top. Either way, it's gonna take me to the screen where I can provide the information necessary to create this local network gateway. First thing we'll need is a name. So I'm gonna call mine IT Pro TV dash GNV. Remember, this is gonna represent that VPN device on my network. So I might want the name of this to represent that as well. If I have multiple offices that I'm creating VPN connections to, I'll wanna know which office this particular uh, network gateway represents. Then I'm gonna type the IP address of that VPN device. Now this would need to be the public available IP address of that VPN device. So in my case, I'm gonna type that in. And then below that, we're gonna fill in our address space. Now the address space represents the local network. So what IP address range are you using on your on-premises network that Azure is gonna to wanna to route through this site-to-site -site VPN connection? In my case, we're using a 10.0.100.0 slash 24. Right? And you can specify more than one range. Notice as soon as I finish the first one, it gives me an additional block. So if I have more than one uh, IP range on my local subnet or that I'm using locally, I can specify those here. I also have the option to configure BGP settings. I don't need those in my case, so I'm gonna leave that unchecked. You're gonna specify the subscription that this local network gateway is associated with. If you had more, more than one subscription, use your drop-down list to denote the right one. And then choose the resource group, either create a new one or select an existing one, which is what I'm going to do. And then once you select that resource group, it should populate your location. If you wanted to change that, you can. Typically, it's a good idea to keep all these resources in the same location. And then I'm simply gonna click Create. I'll get a little progress bar up here on my notification area, letting me know that that task is being worked on. Shouldn't take too terribly long to create this. When it's finished, I'll get a little pop-up notification, hopefully telling me that it was successful. So we'll give that just a minute to finish up. And then once that's completed, I will be able to see, I might have to refresh my screen, but I'll be able to see that local network gateway listed here. So that task is finished. I'm gonna refresh my screen. And there we can see our new local network gateway representing the VPN device on my local network. And from here, I can continue to create my site-to-site -site VPN connection between my Azure virtual network and my on-premises network. This has been another quick bite from IT Pro TV.